Hello everybody! This is One Shot You Die 55 coming back at you again with Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. In the last part, we went to Abstergo and we saved Desmond's dad. And in this part, we're going back into the Animus and hopefully finishing Home Connor's stretch, story Desmond. before fucking I Desmond's dad interrupts us. <laughs> Let me fucking speak for once, faggot. Oh, shh. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Ooh, looks like we're going after the big guy, Sequence 11. Davenport Homestead, 1781. Connor, he's asking for you. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Hello, Connor. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better Ooh. than I show you. We're getting all this fancy shit. Our next target. Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what exactly? About that? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly, so I will go under instead. Increable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Looks like we're gonna make short work of Charles Lee. Looks like Charles Lee is our next target. 
After all this time, we finally get our, our next target, Charles Lee. Uh, we can't fast travel. Oh, damn it! Whatever. Oh, horse! It's a bit odd. I don't even know what sound I just made there, sorry. Um, it's a bit odd that we're going, like, no. It's a, what I'm going to say. It's a bit human that Connor has sentiment for his father. Ugh. Father! Fucking speak, moron! Because, well, obviously they're family. They're blood-related. And now that he's gotten to spend the time with him... Now, now that he's gotten to spend time with him... Fuck you, mouth! Learn to fucking speak English, you racist motherfucker! Now that he's learned learned about his father and knows who he is as a person I mean yeah it's a bit hard for him to do you know it's a bit hard for him to you know actually kill somebody like you know personally all the things he've told he's told them it's a bit odd now it's time for the battle of the Chesapeake 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 uh, Which one is it? Oh, main mission. It's Battle of the Chesapeake! Break through the blockade to access the bay by boarding loyal ships. You want to start this naval mission? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> there were subtitles and nothing happened. Wee. Stupid ass. Fuck! But yeah, we're going after Lee, hopefully. Kill him. The sequence is all about killing him. September 5th, 1781. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. I love the ship missions. I finally get to do another one. Woo! My favorite part about this game so far is the ship missions, besides the actual historical background, because I love history. Now we're getting to some fucking Pirates of the Caribbean shit here! You destroy ships only using one broadside. Oh look, more ships! More ships! Holy moly, Captain! More ships! Uh, what? What? Okay. I got it, even though I didn't destroy a single fucking ship. But you know what? I'm not complaining. 
Oh shit! Oh, we ran into that shit! Ooh! Ooh! That ship had. That ship blind as fuck! Ah! Can't fucking do shit! Ah, oh god. Oh god. Let's try and recenter. Rethink this through. Good shit. That should get him! Alright! Uh oh, there goes one of our ships. Destroys frigates by by firing in their powder stores. How do we feed into their powder? Ah, uh, I think I probably just let that one pass. <laughs> Damn, I'm so fucking speechless, I'm excited about this kind of stuff, I love this! I don't know, I don't know how to shoot into their things, so I'm just gonna destroy them, I'm sorry. Maybe these are the frigate ships? Ah, uh, well, I won't be able to fucking tell now. We want to be able to turn, so. Damn it! Oh, okay. Yeah! Oh! Ooh! God, we're losing health like a motherfucker! Oh god! There we go! Good shit! There we go, that's another one down. My friends are saying that this, this part of, like, this part, like, oh, oh I hate the, the ship missions. How the hell do you hate this? This is one of the most unique parts about this game. And the ship... Oh god, that was a terrible shot. But... This is probably one of the, the unique things that this game did, and it did it right, absolutely, it did it right 100%. It feels like you're actually using a ship, the battles actually feel authentic, authentic as you could get, at least, and hopefully that hits, yeah, it hits them a little bit. It's as authentic as you can get, and it feels like you're actually commanding a ship, one of the best, I, I would think, from a first, uh, well, from a first party game. I, I never, you never think of a... Something like Ubisoft to make something like this. It's a bit out of the ordinary. And it works! Absolutely works! 
I love it! I love that it actually works! But now that takes care of the loyalists. Hopefully. Oh god, they are in trouble. <gasps> oh shit! We're all alone now. Now we're in our deep shit. We're in deep shit, and it's our own damn fault. Until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. We're all alone. In the darkness. In the fog. Ooh. Careful, Captain. Under pause! Port side, Captain! Man of war! There he is. Holy shit! We gotta get into that boat. This thing is screwed. 